So in 2017, the question is, which killer feature is gonna move the needle for that manufacturer, and better yet, separate you from your cash? So what's our first example of a killer Android feature? Well, when it comes to the Galaxy S8, it is undoubtedly the screen. And it's likely what made many of us interested in it in the first place. Samsung finally found a use for its curved displays by using them to almost entirely wrap around the front of the phone. It looks gorgeous, and it makes consuming media all the more enjoyable. You disagree? What else would be the S8's killer feature? Bigsby? And for our next killer feature, we gotta talk about the Google Pixel. And no, it was not for design. Now, some may argue that the software is what sets the Pixel apart, thanks to the full integration of Google Assistant. That's present on any modern smartphone running Android 7, but with the caveat that the screen must be turned on or the device must be plugged in. Just to be on the safe side though, Google threw in a show-stopping camera, which it claimed to be the best camera on any phone. And with the DxO Mark mobile score of 89, it had support to back this up. Now, whether the average user was able to notice the difference is really arguable. The S8 also had a great camera, and our readers really love the more affordable LG G6, the best camera in a blind shootout. But this is a device with a great camera nonetheless, and Google clearly made a big deal of that. Now, I also got to talk about the LG G6 wide-angle lens. Now, the LG G6 has a somewhat hard time standing out from the crowd. However, the most impressive feature is its wide-angle lens on a secondary camera. It might not be quite as head-turning as some other truly bezel-less displays, but whether you're a backpacker who likes snapping panoramas or someone who just has a lot of friends who can't fit into a photo, it's something that is surprisingly handy. Now, one of my killer features is the slow-mo in the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. You can't see it from the outside, but when you see the truly awesome footage captured on the device and learn that the XZ is responsible, you're almost certain to have your interest peaked. I know I did. And it's a good thing too, because design-wise, the Xperia is much more of a carbon copy of what's gone before. Although the 4K screen is still rather exciting, the 960 FPS slow motion is the true head turner here. Just to put that into perspective for a second, my much more expensive professional grade DSLR can only do 120 frames per second compared to Sony's 960. Damn. So this show is based on an article written by Adam Sinicki over at Android30.com. It'll be in the show links below. And he makes the case that the killer feature for the Galaxy Note series is the S Pen. And I disagree. I just don't see people using their S Pens in the wild. Now, many of you are gonna say, no, I love the S Pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like hyping and playing with the S Pen, but you don't like to actually use it. Prove me wrong in the comments below. And if you really got the stones, show me video of you actually using it in some like practical, functional, daily way on video on Twitter. We'll see how many I really get and how many are actually believable. Yeah. <laughs>